Folks have been dreading this automatic paycheck deduction, which was supposed to come in January. But lawmakers here in Olympia hit the pause button, allowing some time to perhaps reform that law. But still, some 100,000 state employees will see those funds deducted from their first paycheck of 2022. There is an appetite to refine and improve this, this bill. Last week, the governor ordered the state's Employment Security Department to hold off on collecting any of the funds. But since the law still is in effect, state agencies are required to deduct the funds, originally set up to establish accounts for Washingtonians to use to pay for in-home or nursing home care later in life. The first long-term care bill in the United States. The bill was celebrated when it was signed in 2019 but concerns have put the plans on hold. Long term, this is needed. It's a good program. Um, but as we got closer to implementation, we started uh, to um, see some areas that needed to be improved. Senate Majority Leader Andy Billig says lots of potential reforms are being explored, including allowing those who live out of state but work in state to opt out. Those closer to retirement could see more benefits than originally planned. Retirees who move out of state might be able to take their accounts with them. And Billig hopes to keep the contribution rate the same, 0.58 of a percent of someone's income. Washington Cares Fund uh, really addresses a, a pressing need uh, in our state, and that is to um, help people to afford to um, age um, with dignity and to have a, a great quality of life. Uh, as um, they transition in their later years. Why not just just say this, this isn't going to work and let's scrap it? Well, because the merits of the uh, program are still there. The need for the program is still there. Um, I don't know if you can see it back. That table is our processing table. There's boxes below it that are full, and we process these daily now. It's a lot of fun to see they're coming from all over the state. Despite the delay and talk of reform, former Republican Representative Kerry Condotta is heading up an initiative signature gathering effort. He wants to force lawmakers to make the policy optional or let voters make that call. The train wreck that it started out to be has just gotten worse. It's a twisted pile of wreckage and it needs to be removed or remodeled completely from the ground up. Republicans are calling on Governor Inslee to bring lawmakers back here to Olympia for a special session before the law is supposed to go into effect in January. That is not expected to happen, but Senator Billig said work is already being done on this issue. He says it's one of the priorities that they'll deal with when they do return to Olympia here on January 10th. In Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.